Now there is one thing that has thrown up huge dilemma in recent years and that's with a huge amount of product to choose from. Which way do you go in terms of your bag setup and how do you make sure that it works best for you? And in today's video, we're going to look at two of those options. So today we're going to look at an iron and a hybrid, both from the Callaway Paradigm range. So first potential dilemma with this decision would be tight par four off the tee. You're looking for 180 yards. Which one are you reaching for? Right, there's two points we need to address at this moment before we go any further. First one being, where am I? Well, this is Quinta de Marina in Cascai, just half an hour from Lisbon. And I'm here courtesy of Glencore Golf, and we'll talk about them a little bit later on. And the second point being the lofts of the two clubs in question. The hybrid is 24 and a half degrees, and the iron is 24 degrees. So that's the little bit of the separator in terms of loft. How much impact does that have in terms of overall performance? Just exactly what you want, just a nice easy swing, get that bit of a shape from left to right, nice and controlled. Why would you not want one of these in the bag? That's the big question, I suppose. But then of course, there's that lower penetrating ball flight probably carried a little bit further. Definitely felt hot off this paradigm face. So there's some decisions to be made. So the scenario is quite simple. You've got 170, maybe 180 yards to go into a green. Which one are you reaching for? Five iron or five hybrid? Now the question is, can you do that with a hybrid in hand and that smother one low into the wind? There is definitely more playability in my opinion with an iron than a hybrid but is that really what you're looking for because with a hybrid it's that straight up no messing get that ball hot off the club face up in the air watch it land soft onto the green to put and walk away with your par big debates in terms of bag setup the question is which one would you go for and let's not forget one key factor is the ability to adjust your club in the hybrid, one that you simply cannot do in the five. So that added bit of flexibility that that gives in terms of the bag might be the decision maker. And then there is, of course, that flexibility. What do you want each club in the bag to be able to do other than those full shots? That little chip and run with the five hybrid, which I'm super impressed with, by the way, I don't think I would have attempted with a five iron. In fact, I know I wouldn't. But then the shot, the smothered shot, the lower flighted ball with the five iron that we've seen from the tee shot, well, I wouldn't be able to attempt that with the hybrid either. So flexibility and what you want from each club is also key in which way you might go with these. Now that's a ball that I don't think I can generate that type of distance with five iron in hand and without doubt for me, with my club head speed at least, the stronger loft that you find in the five iron is real difficult for me to generate that kind of distance and I would argue that the same would apply for many other average golfers. So from a ball speed perspective and all out distance, for me, the hybrid gets it all day long. What I can't argue with is these Paradigm irons are extremely hot off the face and again exceed distance covered relative to swing speed if you like and also launch the ball extremely high relative to loft. So what it shows is you have got to try these two clubs out side by side because what really is the difference nowadays between these two clubs. And the next deliberation, of course, is playing from the rough. What would you rather be cutting through this? A hybrid or perhaps that five iron? That's an incredible ball flight. And probably 
the best shot I've had today, to be quite honest with you, but the way this slides through the turf and picks that ball up with that loft is incredible. And for me, again, I've got to be leaning towards the Paradigm Hybrid as opposed to the Iron, because there's no way we're going to achieve that with an iron. But all the same, we're going to give it a go. Today's video comes to you in association with long-term channel travel partner, Glencore Golf Holidays, and we are at Quinta da Marina in Cascai, Portugal. The hotel and golf course have been a superb place to play and stay in the Portuguese sunshine and the proximity to Lisbon Airport and nearby Cascai make it the perfect European golf destination. So if you like what you see in today's video, then make sure you click on the link in the video description below or head on over to glencoregolf.com for more booking information. Right, five iron paradigm, what can you do? You've got a lot to beat. And you know what? That is a damn good effort. Each time I've played the hybrid first and expected the iron not to be able to do the same, I've sort of at my words. I've got to admit the ball fight wasn't quite as high and towering than what we've seen with the hybrid, but I've got to say, super impressed with what that did in every position we've played it. It's a very interesting head-to-head, -head, and of course, there is one more dilemma that you need to consider. The two balls that I hit just then from out of the rough, they were sort of separated by maybe 15 or 20 yards and uh, the hybrid being the longer of the two. So while Stryball data is without doubt a guide, there is a lot more in reality when you get out on the golf course and looking at all the elements that we're considering in today's video. And that final consideration is what you like to see because at address these are obviously very, very different. Some people will be a lot more comfortable with an iron in hand and others will prefer the mass and bulk that a hybrid gives in terms of that confidence element. And there's also people that just do not like playing hybrids and vice versa. Others do not like playing irons. But the important thing once you've got rid of all those preconceived ideas is without doubt give these a try because where technology in my opinion has without doubt moved on considerably it's in these two areas longer irons such as paradigm in that sort of game improvement category if you like launch the ball far easier than they used to and vice versa with the kind of like the hybrid technology these things are just going into orbit and you've got to consider all those other elements that we've discussed in the video to choose what fits in your bag, what works in terms of flexibility and what works in terms of on your eye. And when you've done all that, you've probably got a club that will do you a damn good job and either one of these would be a good choice as you can see. Right, thanks once again to Kinsetta Marina and to Glencore Golf for hosting us at a very sunny Portugal right now. That's me done, another video complete and I will see you all tomorrow night.